Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm looking for black bears in Belmont. Armed with a flashlight and some night vision binos, I'll be scouring the edges of the marshes to see what I can find. While I was out working on another mission, I was contacted by Colton Locke. I'm still looking into that incident at Hope's camp. I spoke with him and he wanted me to pass on his thanks. He's been having some problems finding food lately though. The black-tailed deer are surprisingly scarce in Belmont for this time of year. Now Hope seems to think some black bears are passing through and scaring off the black tails. Could be true, but it's hard to know for sure. If you come by any bear tracks in Belmont, let me know. I completed the first objective by fast traveling into the Belmont region. When the mission is active, this region will be highlighted in yellow on your map. Black tails are Hope's bread and butter. If you ever want hunting tips on him, he's your man. He's been with the black tails for a while now. If they're on the move, it's not only a problem for Hope, it might mean worrying changes for other parts of the reserve. So, our mission for today is investigating bears for the hunter Call of the Wild on Leighton Lakes. It took me about a half an hour to complete the two objectives. In this mission, you will be required to travel to Belmont and ID tracks from three different bears. So, I needed to simply find some black bears in Belmont. I wanted to try searching in the middle, marshy area here. The wind was blowing to the south, so I decided to start at the south end of the marshes and move north. The best time to find a black bear is during the drink time between 20 and 0, so this is going to be a night hunt. Now, this can be done with the base equipment and the in-game flashlight, but I also like to bring along the night vision binos and scope that comes with a high-tech hunting pack DLC for better clarity while glassing. Black bears have good hearing and I'll be trudging through brushy wetlands, so sneaking up on them will be difficult. Since that's the case, I treated the mission more like a scouting trip than a hunt. They're also fairly solitary creatures, so I expected their need zones would be sparsely located. With that in mind, I was ready to begin. Since it was after 1900, I needed to use my headlamp to see the animal tracks in the dark. Combined with the binos, I scanned the edges of the marsh, looking for tracks and listening for bears. When I heard one, I headed straight towards the location of the sound. I tried to stay as quiet as I could, but I couldn't avoid the brush and my low-level character hadn't unlocked the soft feet perk yet, so I sounded like a freight train moving around in the brush. Well, look at that. Let's see if there are any additional signs of the black bears to support Hope's theory. The tall marsh grass in the area seemed to be concealing the bears. Since I hadn't scouted this area yet, I had no way of knowing where they might be hiding. and this one was no different than the first. He heard me coming before I got a chance to see him, but hey, at least I found his tracks. busted again. But I know the bear had to have left some tracks behind, and only needed one more set. So, I went to take a look.
Guess that settles it. No wonder the Blacktail's on the run. Gotta give Hope some credit. His suspicions were right on target. Thanks for keeping a lookout. So that's it. I found tracks from three different black bears in Belmont and completed the mission. If this video was helpful or you learned something along the way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. I will be adding more of these guides as I go along with my progression, so be sure to check in for more Call of the Wild content. Thanks for watching!